Come back. Now, here's an organization that uses sport for change. It's the Oakle Global 2018 Journey for Change Initiative. And next Thursday, 12 athletes will embark on a journey from Pretoria to Cape Town on foot and one of the participants through hand cycling on a wheelchair. Now, it's 2,200 kilometer trek over 10 days and it's aimed at educating people about the disabilities and dispel stereotypes and myth around it. Now, the campaign will also raise funds for differently abled children in the Northern Cape and according to Ocal, the Northern Cape has the highest prevalence of persons with disabilities in South Africa. Now the organization also found that there is little to no support for children with different mental and physical abilities in the province's rural, rural communities. Now let's talk to cyclist Palesa DJ Manaling, Charles Morgan Olsen who will all be riding in the race and Sandile Nathan Kize as well who's the business development director at Ocal Global. Guys Good morning and welcome to the sports issue on ENCA and we can wake up. First of all, Palis, I think we work with you here at ENCA and I mean, we know about your story and just how powerful it is. What compelled you to join and want to take up on this incredible journey? Uh, well, you see, it was uh, something different and because I think it's very important to make people very aware of what different able people can do and how strong we are mentally and physically and the support that we need from everyone and how we need to, everything to be accessible. Yeah. Mm. Charles, I think you took part in, in the race last year. Um, um, no, sorry, this is Charles Sanza. <laughs> <laughs> Sanilea, you took part in the race last year. And I mean, from the videos and everything that I've seen, it's just incredibly tough, first of all. Um, how was it for you to, able to go from Pretoria to Cape Town on a hand cycle? Um, well, last year we started off actually in Cape Town and we went up oh, here went all the way to okay. uh, And we ended up at the Wings for Life World Run. Um, but the race is beautiful. Um, there's something about traveling the country at about 10 kilometers per hour, you know, which gives you a third, fourth, and fifth look at things that you would no normally wouldn't get in a car. Um, it's majestic, it's beautiful, and it's definitely, I hope, you know, uh, people could experience at least once in their lives. Yeah. Yeah. And what is the bigger picture? I mean, what are you guys actually hoping to achieve by doing this? So with Oka Global as an organization, what we try to do is we try to do epic things wherever we can. And um, we do try to um, raise money through initiatives like this. So for instance, last year we were raising money for uh, a special needs school in uh, Cape Town, Nikuguletu, called uh, Itembaletu. And uh, this year we're raising money for kids in the Northern Cape uh, who we have profiled, who are in desperate need of some uh, assistance from our side. Yeah. yeah. But have you gotten some tips from Sansa about you know, how to actually go about handling this? He's keeping all the secrets to himself. <laughs> he wants me to suffer. <laughs> <laughs> it's not cool. Charles, um, you're also taking part in the race? Yes, yes. Um, for you, I mean, I, I imagine you you you're running from Pretoria to Cape Town yeah just just the thought alone for people who don't understand especially endurance sports what does it take mentally to achieve something like that well firstly I think the thing is you need to break it down <laughs> to look at it at 2,000 2,200 kilometers you know you're scaring yourself yeah. so if you break it down in bits by bits and taking the fact that you're doing it as a team you know um, then it's much easier um, just realizing like um, Nicolina has the saying, if you want to go far, go together. If you want to go fast, go alone. Yeah. So it's all about doing a thing together, and together as a team, you will, you will reach your destination. Um, so I just break it down bit by bit, day by day, and kilometer by kilometer. That's, that's all that I do. And, and the recovery period, tell me about that, because I know that it's all good running a day, but just to get up and start again um, the following day, or even into the night, because I see you guys run into the night yes. as well. Just how, how difficult is that for you guys? Um, well, you know, after a run, you know, at least we've got a support vehicle at the back of us, so we'll, we'll be able to rest. Um, and hopefully, you know, it, it's 10 days, so during, we've got six people in each team. Um, and if I'm tired, I'll take my rest, and hopefully my, my team member will, <laughs> will do enough disc kilometers for me to get adequate rest. But, um, you know, it's also, also preparation up to it. You know, you, you sort of climatize to it. I've been training um, doing 21 kilometers every day um, in preparation for that. So I know I'm physically I'm able. It's just yeah. that mental, you know, doing it for 10 days every time, you know. So um, just mentally staying, staying, staying in the moment, you know, and relying on your teammates, you know, to pull you through. Nice. Sansa, you guys are um, tomorrow taking part in the Wings for Life World Run. Um, I think I did that two years ago, and even the chiefs and the spirit in that race is amazing. Mm -hmm. um, but tell us about that a little bit. 
So the beautiful thing is actually uh, the Wings for Life uh, World Run in 2016 was actually the first time I met uh, Nicolene, who's our CEO, mm -hmm. and that's how I actually got involved with Oakle Global. Um, so as we bumped into each other during that race, um, uh, the relationship then developed, and that's how we've been able to work together now to get to where we are. Um, but the Wings for Life World Run, uh, it raises money for spinal cord uh, research, um, which um, is very important, of course, for obvious reasons. I mean, if we find a cure, uh, for spinal cord injuries, um, a lot of kids, a lot of people in general, millions of people, won't necessarily have to go through the trauma and the pain that you know we've had to endure. Um, and we've been fortunate as well to at least have adequate resources to get the care that we need to get us to this point, where a lot of people don't have that luxury, unfortunately. Yeah, and Palisa, raising that money for the kids, I mean, um, as you say, kids in school struggle because they don't have either the right infrastructure within the schools if they do have a wheelchair, or B, they can't even get a wheelchair. So for you guys to raise money for them, I mean, how important is that for you? It's, it's, it's very important. I mean, um, having walked and not being able to walk might never walk again. Uh, I think it will make a very big difference for the kids. I mean, once if you can't get it, a wheelchair, you can't go to school. Yeah. Then what happens to you? Or you do have a wheelchair, but everywhere else is not accessible. Mm -hmm. So it, it, uh, this is very important for, for me. It's, 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 it's very personal as well. So um, I hope everyone joins in. If you're not in this year, then join in next year for the Wings for Life. All right, guys, listen, good luck for Wings uh, World Run tomorrow and uh, as well for the run next week. Like I said, next year I'm signing up. I want to run with you guys from time to Cape Town. We'll but thank you, you for that. joining us this morning. For sure, we'll hold you to that. Well, that is it for the sports issue um, this Saturday. For now, we're going to go through to 